we have failed as Sri Lankan Muslims. Failed not because those terrorists were Muslim. If they truly were, they would never have killed, because every Muslim knows that the Almighty clearly says in the Holy Quran that to take an innocent life is like killing all of humanity and to save a life is like saving all of humanity. So if these terrorists aren't Islamic believers, as you say in your article, then why do you say that the Muslim community of Sri Lanka has failed? Yes, so we have failed because we have been so engrossed in our religious lives um, to the extent that we have forgotten to be moderate in our practice of religion which Islam actually asks us to do, to be moderate in every part of our life, you know. That is something which we have forgotten. And, uh, and then there are the reformist groups that have come into Sri Lanka, which we call the Jamaats, you know, the different groups with their different ideologies. And um, so, of course, they have been racing against each other to um, expand their number of followers and their influence and their and their power that uh, you know so they have been in that exercise in in trying to get as many followers as possible and most in the muslim community have blindly or unknowingly been drawn to different jamaats and so depending on the different ideology that that particular jamaat is teaching right it depends on the degree of isolation from the sri lankan society